The Evolution of the Internet, from ARPANET to Global Connectivity Our modern world is not complete without the Internet, which connects individuals, groups, and massive volumes of information worldwide. But its creation may be dated to the late 1960s when the Advanced Research Projects Agency ARPA of the U.S. Department of Defense established a network known as ARPANET. The structure of this network laid the groundwork for the development of the modern Internet. The Cold War presented difficulties for the United States in the 1960s, as did the requirement to keep a technical advantage over the Soviet Union. The U.S. Department of Defense created ARPA in 1958 as a reaction to this in order to advance scientific research and development across a range of sectors. During this time, ARPA significantly contributed to the advancement of technology and the promotion of innovation. Computers were still quite new in the 1960s, and most governmental and significant research institutes employed them. However, because these computers weren't linked together, exchanging data between them required a laborious and drawn-out process. When it became clear that these organizations needed to communicate and share resources effectively, ARPA started building a network that would make this connectedness possible. The University of California, Los Angeles UCLA, the Stanford Research Institute SRI, the University of California, Santa Barbara UCSB, and the University of Utah were the four main research universities connected by the initial nodes of the ARPANET in 1969. These organizations evolved into the Network's first nodes, and the Internet's connectivity was made possible by their linkage. Data was divided up into smaller packets and transferred over the network using a technique known as packet switching on the ARPANET. Compared to conventional circuit-switched networks, this strategy provided a number of benefits, including a more reliable and efficient use of network resources. The creation of packet switching was a critical innovation that made the Internet scalable and reliable. ARPANET's first main goal was to make it easier for research organizations and universities to communicate and share resources. Through the network, researchers may share information, work together on projects, and use remote computing resources. This link substantially improved scientific collaboration and quickened the speed of discovery. As additional organizations, including other governmental agencies, commercial businesses, and foreign partners, joined the network over time, ARPANET grew. The complexity and scale of the network increased, necessitating the creation of protocols and standards to guarantee compatibility across various systems and networks. The Internet's founding protocols, Transmission Control Protocol TCP and Internet Protocol IP, were created in the early 1970s. TCP IP gave computers a common language to interact with one another and served as the foundation for the seamless connection of many networks. As the Internet developed, it became more than just a tool for improving communication between research institutes. For many applications, including email, file transfer, remote login, and early types of electronic messaging, it became a crucial infrastructure. The National Science Foundation NSF in the United States created a network named ENSFNET in the 1980s that linked colleges and supercomputing facilities all across the nation. The Internet was able to reach a wider audience because to this network, and when it became a commercial backbone in the 1990s, it allowed for widespread public access. Sir Tim Berners-Lee created the World Wide Web WWW in 1989, adding a revolutionary layer to the Internet. It introduced the idea of hypertext, which enables users to access related content by clicking on hyperlinks. The WWW made the Internet more user-friendly and accessible, facilitating the explosion of information sharing and online services. Governments, companies, and people all across the world have embraced the Internet's possibilities as its use has grown and its potential has become clear. Access to the Internet was made possible by the growth of Internet service providers' ISPs, 